scene. Hey everybody, it's Ashley Ray from Let's Talk Race Style, and today we have a special treat. So I'm actually ashamed to say, seven months ago, I announced that I was changing the platform of Let's Talk Race Style. So what I wanted to do initially was to invite people into my recording space and discuss these topics in person. Cocktails and conversation. Here's a cocktail and a conversation. Get it right, okay. So what happened was I was unable to get people scheduled during a good amount of time so that we could all be together. And then, you know, long story short, life happens. I didn't change over the format. And then here comes coronavirus. So here we are with A. Nicole and Keish for the first platform change of Let's Talk Race Style. Now, Today's topic is going to be friendship. And we will be referring to the previous episode, episode five of Insecure, because I feel that it is very necessary to have friends and be able to understand them in your growing process in life. I've said this plenty of times, we all need friends. So what I want to know, because the internet has been dragging Molly. I'm talking about dragging her by the wig, honey. Up and down the street, dragging. Saying that she's wrong. What do you guys think? Nicole, what, 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 what's your take on this? Okay, so, so I'm not saying Molly is wrong, but her timing is terrible. At the end of the day, at the end of the day, I think both Issa and Molly are in the wrong. Um, there's a lot of miscommunication here. I think if they had had a conversation, you know, two episodes ago, like when they were in the grocery store and they noticed then mm -hmm. that there was something off, then they should have had that conversation. Um, I don't think Molly's wrong for how she feels because nobody knows how she feels for her, but I don't think she should have had the big blow up at Issa's event. That was wrong. Okay. Keish, what you think? Absolutely. I, I'm going to be professional. I'm not going to cuss. I'm, I'm going to be professional. Well, I got five more minutes of professionalism in me. Just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, she wrong as hell. And that's just that on that. Like, wait, which why one? Was, Molly. Okay. First of all, let's be clear. I don't know how she feels is not wrong but the approach was dead wrong it's a time and a place for everything mm -hmm. and yep. she should not have confronted or pulled elephant off the bat at her event okay you could have called home girl you could have said meet me at my house you could have did it anywhere but to make a scene at her event that was wrong to tell. i'm that sorry was that was wrong. Wrong. and then the girl like she got a gun. Like, that's how shit gets started. Nobody had yeah. anything. <laughs> and I was like, who got the gun? Girl, nobody. Like, Charlie, Charlie don't have a gun. <laughs> nobody has the gun. <laughs> and then you know what else pissed me off is the fact that her boyfriend even said, it's not the time and the place. And she basically said, the hell with what you talk about. Oh, no, I'm going to get this out. But you trying to make a change to make your relationship be okay. So even when your man told you, several people said, like, come on, let's not do this here. When your man said it, you still was like, oh, no, nah, I'm going to say what I'm going to say. Okay. No. Mm -mm. Right. Like, she, it was almost like she had to prove that point. And I mean, honestly, I had this conversation earlier with my husband. And I'm like, you know what, right now, I'm going to just have to be Team Issa. Because at the end of the day, that girl has been working hard to put that block party together. Like, she's been really, like, you know, trying to get her shit together. And then here come Molly. Like, well, no, nah, why you go behind my back? Rah, 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 rah. And at the end of the day, we don't even know if Issa truly went to Andrew and Tim. She said something to Nathan, as far as we know. You know what I mean? Like, I Let's mean, it just wasn't in. the time or the place. Like, I mean, they both have, they're both in the wrong, like I've already said, yep. but mm -hmm. it, they are. that wasn't, that didn't have to happen there, period. No. Okay. Because, because hold listen on. though. Hold on, Keish, hold on, hold on. Cause y'all got y'all, y'all got y'all, y'all little mojos out, okay? 
let's start with the grocery store, right? Mm -hmm. So they're in the grocery store. They have this little awkward moment. They decide that they need to have a conversation. Molly's like, hey, you know what? You, you always come over for Thanksgiving. You know, my mom's going to make your pie. Why don't you just come over? And then we can talk about, you know, what's going on between us. Okay. Because that's Issa. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. No. You know what? Yeah. Re want No. Okay. We're on the right track. Never mind. Okay. What happened? Issa does what Issa does, punks out. She doesn't want to mm -hmm. have a conversation. After this girl that had her mother make her a special pie, she thinking she's going to see her best True. friend so they can catch up and they can communicate and find out where the disconnect is between them. True. Issa cancels. Not only does she cancel, but she calls Molly the next day or two days later. And Molly is looking at the phone like, oh, it's Issa. Like, she's excited. She's like, hey, girl. What does Issa do? Ask her for a favor. Not, can we talk about whatever it is that we're talking about? How are you doing? None of that. She goes straight into being the user that she is and starts asking for shit. So at that point, Molly's whole face changed because Molly was trying to tell her something and she cut her off like, yeah, girl, you'll be able to, you'll be able to figure that out. So I want to get this artist and he works at your man's, you know, place of business. Can you ask him? And she was like, well, yeah, I mean, I can ask him. So that makes me feel like she was going to do it. But then when she had the conversation with Andrew, she realized how important he really is to her, which she stated. And she didn't want to be in the middle of that. Guess what? I don't have to tell you yes for every single thing that you ask me to do as your friend. That's true. I don't. True. That's I true. don't. That's People do not realize you get burned out. I'm sure that Molly is happy that she's in a position to help Issa, but let's face it. All of the clusterfuck shit that Issa is in, I told y'all that that professional is on the <laughs> All of that shit yeah. she caused. She caused every oh. single situation that she's in. And you know who bailed her the fuck out of it? Molly. 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 Not Molly. her brother, not her mother, nobody. Molly. That's who. That's why you can quit your job, because my best friend a lawyer. She ain't gonna tell me I can't live with her. True. But you know I mean, what? I'm not saying that. And I'm Mo wrong. Molly was wrong for blowing up. But Issa is head. a fuck up. She is a fuck up, and she need a reality yeah. check. And that's just that on that. She's a fuck yeah. up. Yeah. And that's now, I'm not, Molly was wrong for blowing up at that moment. But you have to think about like Earth, like all the other situations, so like when she drove her to Malibu. Yeah, like she probably, yeah. in that moment, she probably wasn't even thinking. She was probably like, fuck Andrew. But I think she's going to end up being mad at him anyway. Anyway, let's tone, let's, let me bring this back in to actual <laughs> friendship. So. Bring it down to a one. Bring I it down just, to a right. One. I just feel like <laughs> when people are in two different places in their lives, we know that Issa is still trying to figure her shit out. And Molly is actually trying to adjust and have a more realistic view of relationships. She's never mm -hmm. really been in a relationship with somebody who cared about her the way she cares about them. And so she's trying to adjust with that. And nobody's thinking about like what her emotional turmoil is. I would be devastated if my parents were married, if my parents were ever married. And then I found out that my daddy was cheating on my mom and she forgot, like, that's something for real. Like, that's, that messes with your psyche because it changes the way you view men. Mm -hmm. But again, but again, I still feel, and I, I, I get that, but at the end of the day, she don't know how to have a conversation. Mm -hmm. She needs to have a conversation with mm -hmm. her parents. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, it boils down to zero yes. communication like you yes. feel some type of way you had this you know this picture of life marriage or whatever it is in your head and then your world you know in your view was crushed and i get that so yes. if you're upset instead of shutting down passive aggressive and ignoring your daddy and they you both know, shut down and doing all this too. stuff open open your damn mouth yeah, like, and that's why her brother dog checked the shit it. out of her ass in the kitchen like dog <laughs> It's over with. Like, come on. Daddy, <laughs> he messed up. He uh, Guess what? At the end of the day, mama yeah. forgave him. Yeah. So why are you still tripping? Right. 
what is this? Because she has this this picture exactly. in her head of exactly. how relationships and marriage and all this stuff is supposed to go. And I get all that, but instead of being mad, like open your mouth. Nobody knows how you really feel unless you open your mouth. Are, are, are we mind reading? You know what? Just supposed to walk around, just assume we know how you feel. That's true. <laughs> That's true. But at the same time, I think there's only supposed to be 30 or 31 or something like that. Uh, I think so. And I mean, and I think the other part of that too, like, I think most of us are wise beyond our years. So well, oh, I'm like, I'm only, shit, how old am I? 35? Yeah, I'll be 36 this year. And I'm kind of like, I've seen enough of life to where I know it shit ain't always what it is on the outside. Uh, and uh, I've learned enough now to where if I'm feeling some type of way, I need to have that conversation. It. Same with my friends. Mm-hmm. If you if we're true if we're truly friends, not I just we just hang out or we're just acquaintances or you know what I'm saying you just my turn up partner, but like my true friend, I should be able to have a conversation with you like, hey Ashley, you did this, it made mm-hmm. me feel like this, blah blah blah, whatever. And like, Bingo. Oh, the same way dudes. And you guess what? You can agree to disagree, but we're right. gonna talk about it. We're right. gonna say our snippets, and then we're gonna go back to hey girl, what you doing? We're right. not gonna hold on to that shit and talk about it tomorrow again. Right. And yeah. still being shady question, afterwards. I got a question for y'all. <laughs> so I have a friend or friends that sometimes it's not worth the conversation because they are going to make it seem like you're attacking them versus having a conversation. So it's like sometimes there's some things that you can discuss and then there's sometimes things that you just don't have the energy for. Like, I don't always have the energy to be like, this is not an attack. Like, I'm just telling you how I feel about something you said or did or whatever the case may be. And it turns into this long theatrical, you know, mess. And it's just like, I don't want to deal with it. So okay. sometimes I just might not say anything. I might just leave it alone because I'm not in the mood to put on a damn Shakespeare play. Okay. Well, with that, let me, mm-mm. first of all, if I'm your friend and I know you, I I would know that I'm you're not attacking me. We're just talking. But if somebody takes offense to it, and I've been knowing you for years, and if you take offense to what somebody is saying, then I'm sorry, let's put the cat out there. Mm, we might not be friends because you should know me well enough to know my personality and know that I'm just talking to you. I'm not attacking you. Right. But they like can I'm feel coming, the same I'm way. Out of love. Yeah, but they can feel the same way. Like they can feel like you know me, so why would you feel like I would do this or say these things intentionally to hurt you? So that could so, really go both ways. Part of yeah, it but, is, I mean, part of ahead. it is do I really know you though? Because I think sometimes we get we get mixed up with, oh, we've been friends for mm-hmm. so long. Like, oh, that's been my friend for 20 years. But in that 20 years, that person has changed several times. So right. do I even really still know you? Like, the length of time that you've been around someone doesn't equate friendship. Nope. You I know, agree. at the end of the day, you could have a friend you've been only knowing for two years. But they've been more of a friend to you than somebody you've been knowing for 30. Listen, so when it, you know what I'm saying, when it comes down to it, it's, you know, if I know my friend is like that or doesn't receive the things I say well, then is that a friendship? One, is it really a friendship? And two, mm-hmm. is that something I want to even continue? You know, because just like they're evolving, so am I. So is that exactly. really worth it anymore? Exactly. And I don't want to have to keep, if I have to address something with you and we got to go through this long, drawn out rigmarole going around, all around the mulberry bush and then you got an attitude and you're like, girl, no, bye. Then we weren't friends. Did you we say mulberry bush? Yeah, going all around the mulberry bush. I'm, I'm, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that. I'm not going There's around like the mulberry bush. There's one of the hand bush. games back in the day, the mulberry bush. Yeah, I'm not doing like it. I'm not. It, it it should be a simple, yeah. okay, let me hear your opinion. Let me hear, because the thing is, it's supposed to be a conversation. Mm-hmm. So you tell me how you feel. And like you said, uh, hey, Nicole, well, we are changing and evolving every day. 
Right. And we may not be the same. You may not, we may not be the same. I may not be the same Keisha from two years ago, five years ago, whatever. So what you I- You are not. Do, let me just say that. Get, get listen. I, <laughs> they don't know. They don't know. <laughs> they don't. But the gr- look, the grow up is real. The glow and the grow. Okay. The glow and the grow. <laughs> right. But the thing is, I should be able to just come to you and say whatever, and then you be like, okay, well, maybe a real friend would be like, well, I need to fix it or I need to address it. Okay, I see. But I wouldn't feel as if it was an attack if we real friends. Like, yeah. you just telling me. Because maybe at the time, whatever you telling me, I might have been out of pocket as fuck. And I need somebody to tell me that I was out <laughs> of pocket. I try to give everybody the benefit of the doubt because a lot of people have a lot of things going on that they're battling eternally, like, you know, in their mind, in their spirits, in their hearts. So a lot of, you know, family issues, friendship issues. And sometimes, you know, somebody can not mean to come off as the victim, but because they have all this, excuse me. (laughs) Because they have all this other stuff going on, it spills over, and that's not even their intention. So I say that to say that I feel like we all should, at some point, take a step back and try to see where the other person is coming from before we address something and when we address something. Because it's not always meant as an attack on us, and sometimes we can feel we get defensive and we feel like that. True, but what about? the friends that are always going through something that are always have something that always you know even though you're you're not attacking them or whatever but you're like you know what this time around i'm gonna really tell you how i feel and it's like well you, you know i got this going on yeah i do like right now we're all in a pandemic we're all locked up in the house you know like we're all going through something it's like at, at what point do you say okay like that's enough. Like I need you to be a friend. You can't keep using I'm going through as your excuse to be a shitty friend. At that point, I'm done. Yeah, I was point. about to say, um, <laughs> that's when you start texting me, like, hey, I haven't heard from you in a while. Um yep, Yeah, I'm done. I'm gone. I have I, to I, mm-mm. Yeah. Yep. But see, I'm, I'm the kind of person where if I'm not if I'm done. I'm going to text you or I'm going to call you and say, hey, I'm done. Like, I need you to know where you stand in my life at this point. I don't want you to be confused. Well, you That's know what? Point. Let me tell you something. That is brave of you, honey. Because I, I was just about to say, hey, let me tell you. I, I just crazy. cold turkey. You ain't heard from me. I just <laughs> exactly. told ask you this. If you ain't heard from me in a couple months, that means, bitch, you ain't in my life no more. <laughs> and you figured it out. That's just what it is. No, I, 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 know, that. I, don't I have to do to my friendship. Yeah, because friendships yeah. are relationships. This is your relationship with somebody, right? So I have to right. do it like I do it when I talk to a guy. I can't tell a guy like, "Listen, I'm not going to talk to you anymore," because one, they're going to try to talk you out of it, or two, it's going to be something that happens, and it and what your intent was doesn't come to, into fruition. So what I'm going to do is snip, snip. I'm just going to dead. It's dead. No, oh. I'm kind of like, I don't want like when, uh, when outside open back up and you see me out somewhere, I don't even want you to speak to me. So that's why I need you to know. Because, you know, people will forget that you're not messing with them. Like, oh, I haven't seen you in a while. Give me a hug. Nah, boo. Remember that conversation? I'm done. I can still be cordial. <laughs> I can give you a hug. Say, hey, how you doing? What nah, you doing on my way? Not me. Yeah, I'm, I when I'm done, I'm done. Well, if ain't I see no you in the streets, hug. hey, how you doing? Hey, girl, and I'm gonna keep it moving. Keep it moving. We ain't finna sit up here and reminisce and all of that. <laughs> ain't the girl. No. Listen, mm-hmm. this is why. This is why <laughs> no. I say that because it ain't no bad blood, and I don't want you to think that it's bad blood. It's just I am not dealing with your shit no more. So no love lost. I'm just tired of the bullshit that you keep bringing up. Or every day, it's all, like you said, it's always something, all the time. I'm just done with that part. But that don't mean, oh, I ain't fucking with you or whatever. If I see you in the streets, hey, girl, and I'm going to keep it moving. And I'm going home and go to sleep. Good. A good sleep. 
I, I'm not going. I'm not dwelling on that shit at all. And it ain't no I'm bad blood. No. Sleep. Maybe, maybe I'll get no. there one day. I'm not there yet. Yeah. That's yeah. Hard. But let me tell you, it took me a long time to get there because I'm one of the grudge olden bitches. I will hold a. <laughs> Aries. I will be like. AKA I will Molly. Be <laughs> Molly. <laughs> listen, I will hold a grudge. But see, let me tell you. Oh, okay. Listen. See how she made a scene like that? That's true. I done did that shit before. I know, that's how I figure she's an Aries. I done did that shit before, yeah. right? And made a scene in public. And you know who got me together? My fiance. He told me, you can't be erratic and shit in public. I don't like that shit, and that shit is unattractive. So I never thought about it until I got older. One time, we were at Shane Park. And I was drunk clowning. He was talking to some chicks, right? I didn't know none of these women he was talking to. But in my mind, he fucking with somebody over there. <laughs> he talking to. Okay? And, and so I started going crazy. Like, I don't give a fuck about them bitches. And nah, 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 nah. made a whole scene. And now that I look back on it, I'm like, girl, that was a hot ass mess. You shouldn't have did no shit like that. But I was young. I didn't understand. Mm -hmm. Fast forward. To the, now, today, all of these women I talk to now. At that time, I didn't know them. But now I talk to them. And we laugh about that. But they was like, we was looking at you like, this bitch crazy. Ain't, ain't none of us fucking him. And she acted a fool. And, and, and ain't none of us fucking The whole crew, everybody married. Okay? And everybody married. And I'm going in because I don't know. Going. Going in. Calling people bitches. Ain't even stop the ass. Listen. <laughs> I learned right then and there. Once now that I've seen their side of the, the side of it, and then looking at myself and looking at, I was I acted a damn fool, and I said I would never do no shit like that in public ever again, because now they all making a mockery of me. Like, look at this bitch; she's silly as fuck, you know. And I'm like, and Molly did the same thing, and I can relate. But then that's when I said, well, oh, Molly, no. Molly is young too, though. Molly was is like 30. You know what I'm mean? like? It's a it's a huge, I made a huge growth transition from 30 to 35. Like, I am not the same person. I'm not the same person I was last year. And that's yeah. real. Yeah, it, it is a growth thing. Cause right now you can't pay me to do no shit like that. Cause that was embarrassing. I embarrassed my damn self. Girl, see, I don't but, want people to know that, that I even care that much. So I just have to be like, oh, okay. Yeah, see, <laughs> and see, but see, I was young. I was silly. I, I didn't know. Like, you know, now I would do that like, oh, okay. And keep it moving. But then, oh no, I had to get my point across like Molly. Like, uh-uh, bitch, you gonna listen to what I got to say. Yeah. And it's like, mm, mm it's a time and place for everything. And that wasn't the time or the place. Okay. But I had to learn that. So you're all y'all are team Issa? I mean, I'm team Issa as far as the episode in no, general. That's not, we're not talking about <laughs> we're like, not talking I mean, about the episode. Team we're team talking about this was like everything to build up. I mean, they both they both wrong. I mean, at the end of the day, they're both wrong. Issa done did some, some fucked up shit. I mean, you know, we had the conversation the other day. I think Issa is just the friend. You know, you all, everybody got that friend that's the fuck up. That you just gotta help along the way until you don't want to help them no more. You I'm know what I mean? Good. So, See, I it's just kind of, it's, I don't know. I think it's just kind of like, you know, I don't. I, I think I, I just think Molly got to the point where she's tired of Issa shit helping her along the Listen, way. Listen, that last <laughs> episode, she said, "Nigga, you always need one more favor." <laughs> <laughs> like one more thing. I was like, one more oh, thing. No. But and the thing is, I I'm, about this. I'm neutral. I'm neutral. I don't. Molly rubs me the wrong way, and Issa. Right. They both rubbed me the wrong way. Uh, because, Molly, you don't know how to communicate. You think somebody's supposed to read your goddamn mind, and, and you don't. And then, you know, you always got to be, you know, you got to prove your point. Uh, it's just a lot of shit about her I don't like. And then Issa, she is, she is a user. But the thing is, she don't know nothing else. She's still trying to fill, 
figure her way of the world out. She uh, she's a fuck up. So mm-hmm. she don't know what yeah. she's doing. So I'm kind of neutral on both ends. They both rub uh, me the wrong way. Yeah. And I so think Issa just I don't think I don't think Issa has been taught how to be Mm-mm. be a friend, man. Not stuff that's just small <laughs> common sense to most people. Right. It's like oh. <laughs> Oh, I didn't get that. And then once you break it down to her, it's almost like, okay, I get that now. So now I can, you know, be better moving, you know, forward or whatever until I, you know, do the next thing. But it's just, I don't think she's ever, um, well, you know, honestly. Yeah, it does seem like the little snippet that they put in about her mom, it did seem like maybe she's taught, she's been taught how to survive. And not how to actually live, if that makes mm-hmm. sense to you. Yep. Mm-hmm. Cause surviving and living is two different things. So. Exactly why I said she's a Libra. Cause most Libras I know have been taught to survive, so they don't see any <coughs> um, thought in their ways of using people. Like, they just feel like, like, oh, you know, like, what do yeah. you mean? So. They are. They are very much about themselves. Um, one of my good good friends and um she's a libra and that's how she, like we don't obviously don't talk as much as we used to but mm-hmm. that's how she was it was always you know what can what can i get to advance my agenda you know myself it was always it was never about anybody else it's just always what can i get out of this what can i do when is libra's birth me? when is libra birthday end of september to like uh, september 25th to like October twenty. Uh, well, guess what? My my boo just told me that his friend who I uh have been having issues with is a Libra. <laughs> so yeah, I understand. Like he does some fucked up shit and he don't even see his ways and actions. No. Like he's yeah. oblivious to it all. Like it's just some things you just don't do. And he does them, and, like, I don't think he even sees that it's wrong. But now, They're one of my gonna friends apologize. is a Libra, and she doesn't even do that. So it's crazy, and they got the same birthday. But she's not like that, but he does. Like, he don't have a problem with asking you for something. Oh, I need to borrow some money. He's just ignorant with his shit, and he don't, <laughs> it's no remorse. Like, oh, well, maybe I shouldn't have did that. That was wrong. He don't care. But my my good friend who I've been known since I was like 14, she's a Libra. They got the same birthday and she don't act like, like that. So that's weird to me. I mean, not weird. You know, it depends, not all on, of them are it depends like that. on how you're raised. You know what I mean? Yeah, that's true. Were you raised that's- on on, you know, good principles? Were you were you raised with morals, with love? and how to live or were you raised to survive because when you're raised to survive you say and do anything to get the things that you want oh baby and that's him good god i, I, I think i was raised i think i was raised to be both <laughs> mm-hmm. i was raised to be both because listen here granny will make a meal out of no meal and she ate she no, told me granny didn't tell you to use anybody either though that's hell no saying. no she didn't but she she ought see i was raised to survive but also to learn learn from my mistakes right and you need to fall on your damn head and figure it out i'm gonna give you the game but some of this game you got to figure out on your own so you know what? That makes me think of when everybody's like, the game is to be sold, not told. That's not true. The game is to be told because you're teaching the person up under you how to play it. How to, See, that's yeah. the problem. So many people raised off for survival trying to get a dollar for every little thing. Like, that's not the way it goes. You're supposed to teach somebody. Reach yeah. one, teach each one. one, teach one. Exactly. The only problem is when you're teaching and these motherfuckers don't listen. Ooh, that's the problem when, when they don't, you know, take to tell Anthony to get out of our. Say, sorry, A hey, Nicole, could you mute your phone while Anthony <laughs> is talking? Uh, Keisha, thank you. Oh, 
Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> it's recording. <laughs> I still love you, though, Ed. I do. But, like, uh, okay, I yeah, I think it's just like, like you say, you supposed to, I remember when I graduated from college and someone gave me a card and in the card it said, you know, now that you've made it, you know, reach back, you know, and get somebody else and, you know, teach them, you know, uh, so they're able to kind of go through life and not, you know, make the same mistakes. But the yeah. problem is these younger generations, <laughs> they don't listen. Child. It's like oh, yeah. they want to learn by messing up. Or well, they want to touch the fire to see how hot it's going to get. It's yeah, and I, that wasn't me. I'm like, oh, you said it's hot? Okay, on to the next. I don't need to touch it. I believe you. And mm-hmm. they don't. You know, it's just they're like, okay, well, I'm going to do, mm-hmm. do what I do. I heard what you said, but I'm going to do what I do anyway. Exactly. It may not mm-hmm. be hot for me. Oh, okay, well, let me know how that works out for you. Bingo. Because my little brother is like that. He just graduated. He 19. And you can't tell him shit. He know everything. And you don't know a goddamn thing. You just got into this world. But guess what? Everything that he say is right. You don't know shit. He know everything. And I'm like, well, damn. I wish when I was 19, I had it all figured out my mess. But, you know, go ahead. You know it all. Shit. Excuse the hell out of me. Yeah, because I'm 35 and I'm still trying to figure it out. Hello, like, bingo. I know a little bit. And I'm still trying to figure it out. You got it all figured out. Get out of here. Yeah, for sure. All right, ladies. Right. Yeah. Well, thank you guys so much for your input. Um, I'm wondering if you guys would be interested in maybe recording next week for another episode, but it'll be a more serious topic. Even though this was serious, but you know, it, it's more in the political realm. So, thank you all for sure. Joining. I mean, oh, yeah. yeah, just let me know when. All right. Yeah, I'm down. I think I'll be more listening though. <laughs> unless, okay. unless you give me a topic ahead of time, like let me go. Let me go. Yeah, I might, uh, I might because you know you want to. Yeah, you want to be. Uh, I'll give it to you ahead of time. Yeah, cause cause I I got to brush up on that. I don't want to be on here and look at crazy like. Lady. Yeah. <laughs> but all I know is get out and get out and vote. I'm trying to find a way to see if I can get an extra vote in in November. <laughs> like, is there some oh like God. I'm trying to see if there's some way I, I can get another ballot. Like Girl. can I do an absentee ballot and then Well, they are mailing go? ballots to, to home. vote. <laughs> they are. They are mailing them out. Um, so you'll be able to vote from home, and each district is supposed to have at least one station open, so some so people can go in, or whatever. All right, well, well let me yeah. wrap this up. I'm trying to. Okay. All right, guys. Okay. So thank you for joining. I guess episode one of Let's Talk Race Style. I'm trying to figure out why is it showing Keisha like Keisha's talking. I don't know. This is new. Press Do you me. have it on multiple? No. Because I see all three. Me, I mean, I see all three at the top, but like while I was talking, like you would think that I would see myself. I don't know. Anyway, so thank you for joining for episode one of Cocktails and Conversation with Let's Talk Ray Style. Hopefully this goes well and we can continue to record episodes and upload them. If you'd like to read any blogs, buy any merchandise, or if you're interested in cognitive behavioral coaching, please visit letstalkracestyle.com. That is L-E-T-S-T-A-L-K-R-A-E-S-T-Y-L-E.com for more information. All right. Smooches. Bye. Bye.